Okay, sorry about that. Well, the question 16, we're also at the end of the test. This is a, a nice algebra question, although it looks like it's a little bit complicated, especially this bit down here where we've got 2n squared plus 4. So let's go back and remind ourselves of some algebra. We've got, well, we've got some expressions here, and we're told that a is 5, b is 2, and c is minus 1. So let's go ahead and, and calculate this. Well, a is 5, so we've got to do 5 plus our b, which is 2 plus our c, which is minus 1. Now, if you need to remind yourself about your positive and negative numbers, you can there's a couple of videos about that. So this adds up, so 5 plus 2 plus minus 1 gives us 7, and then we're going down, it's like a sandbag, so it goes down to 6. In this question here, we've got to do three lots of our a, which is 5, and then we're adding on two lots of our minus 1. So, 3 lots of our 5 are 15, because that's what 3 and that next to each other mean, it means multiply. And 2 lots of our minus 1 is minus 2. So we're going to add on minus 2, add on 2 sandbags to 15, means we go down to 30. Next question here, we've got to do a 5 times a brackets and then it's 2 plus minus 1 which gives us well we've got to work out our brackets first haven't we so it's 5 lots and then we've got our number bracket 2 plus minus 1 oh hello mistake there my apologies 2 plus minus 1 is 1 and that means we've got to do 5 lots of 1 which is just 5 so remembering our bit mass and our negative numbers here. On this question, we've got all the letters squashed together. So we've got to do 5 times by 2 times by minus 1. So let's work from left to right. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times minus 1 is minus 10. And lastly, we got a cohesion with a, it looks like a fraction, it's actually a big divide. Um, so let's put the things in. B squared, so we've got to do 5 squared. Oh, it's B. Not doing very well, am I? Making a couple of mistakes. So it's B squared, so it's 2 squared minus minus 1, which is our C, all divided by our. 5. So let's have a look how this works. Well, 2 squared is 4 minus minus 1 all divided by 5. Well, minus minus 1 is like taking away a sandbag, so we go if we float higher, which is 5 divided by 5 gives us the total answer, the final answer of 1. Okay? So have a quick back, have, uh, have a look at this, check and understand what I've done here. So replacing, substituting. Uh, my numbers in place of letters. Let's have a look how it works. In this case, I've got to do th 3 times 2, take away 1, that gives me 6, take away 1, calculating my brackets first, which gives me 5. In here, I've got to do 5 take it times 2, because it says my n is worth 5, so I'm doing 5 times 2, take away 1, which is really 10 minus 1, which is 9, or 7 times 2 minus 1, which you can now calculate in your head, which is 13, and 10 times 2 minus 1, which is 20 minus 1, 19. Okay, this one becomes a little bit trickier, so let's make a little note here. 2n squared. Hmm. So we've got to do. Let's change colours here. Well, 2n squared means find n squared first.
and then double the answer. So we've got to calculate the n squared bit first using bid mass, and then we've got to double it. So we've got to do, really, we've got to do here 2 lots of 3 squared, adding on 4. Which, well, th squared means multiply by itself, so it means we've got to do 2 lots of 9, add on the 4. So to do the 2n squared bit first, I've got to square it, or times by itself first, then double it, and then add 4 last. So that gives us 18 plus 4 is 22. Or in this case, 2 lots of 5 squared plus 4. Well, 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 2 lots of 25, and then add on 4. Or, in long... 50 add 4, which is 54. 2 lots of 7 squared add on 4, which means we've got to do 2 lots of 49 add 4. Oh, I'm going to do this one in my head. 49 makes 98, makes 102. And 10. Mm. 2 lots of 10 squared. Add on 4. Well, I know that 10 squared is 100, or 10 times 10 is 10 by itself is 100, so that makes you 200 plus 4 makes it 200. And 4. This one's quite tricky, so go back over it and check it if you need to.